presidential candidate of the Action Democratic Party, ADP, Alaji Uyabaji Yusuf Sani. Alaji Sani, who is also the chairman of the Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, told channels televisions Ladia Keridoloale on our election issues and personality tracking program Roadmap 2023 that if he is elected president next month, petrol subsidy will be removed on day one of his government and that dampeners will be applied to cushion the effect on the most vulnerable. It is a conundrum of, 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 of corruption. Subsidy you are talking about, the, the manner by which it is, it is given. You know, so this is why removal of subsidy, the way it is being given today, because the way it's being given today is between the, 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 the middlemen, those who are supplying NMPC, the crude oil, I mean the refined products, who brought it to the jetties where you don't have meters to even meter how much has been brought. They, they will submit fake bill of ladings and NMPC will facilitate the payments by PPR, PPRA or whichever agency is doing it now. And then the, the man, the, the, the motorist, Nigerian motorists are supposed to benefit from this subsidy, does not get the subsidy. You know, so this is what has been happening. So our government will, on day one, believe you me, we are going to remove the subsidy, but we are not going to leave Nigerians to their fate, you know, to suffer the backlash of, of removal of subsidy. Because if anybody tells you that removal of subsidy will not bring about some hardship on Nigerians, it is not true. But our government, because we have done it before, we are going to do it again. Introduce dampers. Make sure that the, 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 the weak in the society does not suffer unnecessarily. Because it is God-given gift that Nigerians should experience good life, no matter what. And that's what our government is going to do. So, subsidy removal, believe you me, is something that we were going to do from day one. Because it has no meaning the way it's been handled. Even in America, America has highly geared you know, capitalist system that you have, in you know, the economic system you have there, they still have subsidies. You know, they give subsidies to their farmers. They give subsidies to some sectors of the economy because they realize that if you don't subsidize those subsectors, the economy itself will not be able to achieve its, you know, its, its maximum uh, efficiency. So this is why you select areas where you give subsidy and you apply subsidy directly to those ones. You don't pass it through middlemen like we are doing in Nigeria. For the full interview with Alaji Sani, do watch Roadmap 2023 tomorrow, Monday, the 23rd of January at 9 p.m. here on Channels Television.